There are multiple conversions done by Ephraim Pro Migrator for which a primary key is required for every converted FileMaker database table, even including join tables. Ephraim Pro Migrator expects a primary key to be a numeric, auto enter serial number field having unique and not empty data validation. Using a UUID for the primary key is not recommended. You can potentially configure another column as a UUID column in a SQL database, just don't make it the primary key. If you are concerned about conflicts with a clustered database configuration, don't worry. The clustering software automatically avoids these types of conflicts. Unlike running FileMaker Go on mobile devices, the SQL database will have centralized key management to prevent this issue. You should avoid using the hidden record ID as the primary key. The record ID column is not readable via ODBC for data transfer purposes. It is not safe to use as the primary key because the values will change if you export and import records between database files. You should also avoid mixing text and numbers together as part of the primary key. For instance, a MySQL database will automatically strip out the text portion of the key if you do this with a numeric field. But if the foreign keys in relationships are text fields, the values won't match, causing relationships to fail. If you want to display a human readable value to your users, having text and numbers mixed like this, then create another stored calculation field containing this info, but don't use it as the primary key. Use it only for display purposes. If you have an existing primary key field which Ephraim Pro Migrator doesn't recognize, then use this procedure. Select the File, Manage Database menu. Click on the Tables tab. Double-click on the name of a table to see the fields. Double-click on the ID field. The Auto Enter tab of the Field Options dialog shows that the ID field is an Auto Enter serial number field and the next auto increment value will be 5. This is perfect for the primary key column. Click on the Validation tab to set the validation settings. Make sure that the Not Empty and Unique Value checkboxes are checked as you see them here. Click the OK button to save the field changes. Then click the OK button on the Manage Database dialog also. You might have a situation in which you cannot figure out which field should be the primary key in an existing table. Therefore, you will need to add a new primary key field and then use Replace Field Contents to populate all of the records with incrementing serial number values. This example uses the Members 2 table, containing 29 records and having no primary key. When first opening the table, none of the fields will be selected. Enter a field name, select the type as number, then click the Create button. With the field still selected, click on the Options button on the right. On the Auto Enter tab of the field options, click the Serial Number checkbox. The Next value and Increment options will be filled automatically. Click on the Validation tab to set the validation settings. Make sure that the Not Empty and Unique Value checkboxes are checked as you see them here. Click the OK button to save the field changes. Then click the OK button on the Manage Database dialog also. Create a new layout for the table, or you may add the new Primary Key field to an existing layout. Enter Layout Mode by selecting the View Layout Mode menu. Select the Layouts, 
New Layout Report menu, click on the Computer and Form buttons. Select the name of the table from the menu, click the Finish button. Click the Field Picker on the toolbar above the new layout. Use the Control or Command A keys to select all of the fields. Drag the fields from the Field Picker window over to the layout. Select the View Browse Mode menu to switch to Browse Mode. Select the Records Show All Records menu. Move the record slider to make sure that you are viewing the first record in the table. We now have a new primary key field named ID, but it doesn't contain any values because it is a new field. So now we will populate the primary key field in all of the table records with incrementing serial numbers. Click into the new primary key field, which is empty. Select the records. Replace Field Contents menu. Click the Replace with Serial Numbers radio button. Make sure that Update Serial Number is checked. Click the Replace button. The new primary key field is now ready to use.